going on my super sandwiches rocks out here today brings more dragon ball legends content and today we're hopping into some free summons completely free all from in-game basically tickets that we're handing out over the course of the last couple weeks now majority of these actually were released during the whole dragon ball super broly campaign i got a bunch from the actual exchange shop from the new uh, goku kid goku event that was actually available for the past couple weeks do not sleep on that by the way do not sleep on it to get the tickets all you gotta do is go into the shop you'll see all the tickets available in here now i have one first world problem one for us for a problem real quick. Oh wait, let me accept my uh, adventures real fast because this is always a good, I want you guys to see this. This is always a good way to get souls and zenny. Look at this, huge success. I always like to point this out because people always tell me, how do you get so much zenny and souls? I talked about it in past videos, I've done tutorials on it. It's not that hard. Uh, it's, it could be a little time consuming if you're new to the game, but if you do this over time, it's it just kind of builds up. I mean, I'll show you if I, if I go into items and souls. I'm kind of stacked up with the exception of the purple souls level 3 ones, but beside the point. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I have a first world problem. And that first world problem is they only gave us 9 30% tickets uh, over the past couple, over the past like two weeks. Why is that a problem? Because I won't be able to do a multi on that, but I'm like, ah, this will be such an epic multi because basically what this is, this is a 30% chance as this is our ticket. So, first things we're going to do is just, let's just hop in doing a quick uh, guaranteed ticket from the massive pack banner i cannot wait for the massive pack banner to go away the only reason why is because i don't like the fact that all these units were just so like i don't want to say they're out of date because they took a lot of the units in the most recent buff like ginyu is really really good freeze is really really good uh one-handed spirit bomb goku is amazing like they took a lot of old units and made them great which is fine but the thing is is they took so long to update the master pack banner by the time they release master pack 2 it's going to be amazing but for now it's kind of like meh first one true not what I really been wanting. It's not what I've been wanting. Oh, we love it, bro. What, how many stars do you now? Uh, if it's a uh, lottery, I gotta take. What? Hold on. Seven? One, two, three, four, five. Wow! I have a seven star. That's my. That's like my third. Wow, voice crack. That's like my third seven star uh, Sparky unit I have right now. That's 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 wild. Okay. What is the Z ability at seven stars? Now I'm kind of curious. Twenty-five percent to hybrid same base blast attack during battle. Well, that's kind of cool. Whenever he gets buffed, because I'm sure he will at some point. That's going to be amazing. Uh, let's actually back out. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some of the. Let's do. Should we do these yet? No, I'm, I'm gonna hang on to these. Let's do. I guess let's do this first. Ugh, this is gonna be so annoyingly slow, which is fine. Whatever. Well, that's that's a sparking. That's a sparking. The 30% tickets basically are 30% chance of being a sparking unit in this banner. So pretty much, it's a pretty decent chance this is all going to be fired. This is why I was hoping this was available in a multi summon. If I had like, think of the epicness. I mean, granted, also, there's a chance that they could all be hero units at the end of the day as well. It's, it's possible. Wow, not only did we see uh, Mercury Tau on his log, we also had Vegeta pop in there. This is, like, overkill to the max. Who do I want the most? I'd say probably Frieza. As many Frieza units as I can get, because he's just probably one of the best in this banner. Vegeta's good, too. How many uh, stars is he at? Oh, he's close. This man is pretty much one more away from seven stars. I'm about to, I'm about to seven star him as well. Watch. Hey, before I seven star him as well. Now again, the beauty of this game is, yeah, they kind of cut down on the amount of crystals that they were basically rewarding you for playing, and what they replaced it with were tickets. The beauty is, the tickets are great. I'd rather it be crystals because then it gives you more freedom of, of choosing where to put your in-game currency into, but the tickets are, are fine too just because it gives you basically free summons. And I feel like, ah, it's a dead Goku. I feel like once they release Massive Pack 2, it's going to be a whole lot better. That's an extreme Chiaotzu. All right, so that's our first non-sparky non unit in this video. Next one. God, I'm just, I'm just so mad. Like, I remember when they released this 30% tickets before, a lot of you guys were smart, and you saved all your tickets for one epic multi-summon. And all those screenshots I've gotten, they literally had like seven, eight, nine sparkings in one multi-summon. It looks so cool. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see that in this video, but it is what it is. But yeah, once they release Master Pack Banner 2 over the course of most likely whenever Master Pack 1 goes away, uh, I think that that banner is going to be amazing. Ah, uh, it's going to be another extreme one. Extreme sell. The banner is going to be absolutely amazing because uh, what they're going to probably do is they're going to throw in all the USD characters over the course of the past year into one banner, which is going to sound kind of crazy because if you think about it, that's going to be a lot of um, units in one pool. But I'd rather be able to like take my tickets I get from the game from playing PvP or just being rewarded in general and throw into a banner and not care about it as opposed to this one. Again, the cool thing is, is they keep buffing characters. You keep buffing characters... I'm, I'm with it. I'm with. I'm, I'm enjoying the older units because you know buffing Frieza, the yellow Frieza. I've been waiting for that since day one. That card is so good, or I guess character. That character is so good. Seventeen. Yo, he should be close to seven stars as well, right? Or is he just six stars? No, just kidding. He's five stars. So I'm one away from six star in that bad boy. I'll take it. 
All right, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. By the way, I also have my guaranteed sparking ticket from uh, from the uh, from what call it from the, the the daily logins as well. So we're gonna walk away with either a Bardock, hopefully Bardock, Bardock, uh, Yellow Goku, the Super Saiyan two one. Um, who's the other one? They had Chilled, Lord Chilled, and then the other two in here as well, which is Ginyu and Vegeta. Hopefully, it's not either one of those two because I'm like doing pretty good on those. But we'll see what happens. Nappa. All right. And I got that already max. I got that man already maxed out as well. All right, we got four left, including this one I just capped on. And then we'll probably hop in and do. Uh, we'll probably do the uh, the Sparky ticket afterwards. I think I'll probably end the video by doing three multi summons on the massive pack banner as well because I have like 30 something tickets. Um, because again, the whole idea of this video is is to literally take all the in game tickets that they handed out and do one epic video on it. Wow, this is gonna be. This is probably gonna be the first hero unit on video. No, no, it's, it's still extreme. It's still extreme. I'm okay with that. Surprisingly, can you even get hero units with those with those tickets? I feel like you can't. I might be wrong on that. I mean, for all I know, you probably can. Let me not say you can and can't because I have no information on it. Oh, this gotta be a sparking. This has gotta be another sparking unit right here. This has gotta be another sparking unit. Let me not say that because every time I see destroy dynamic, I think it's going to be and ends up being trash. Red letters too. Red letters. Can we burst through the blast? No, Vegeta, Papa, Vegeta. No, Vegeta, just a dead Goku. Uh, and no fake eye either. Yamcha, which I don't have maxed out. <laughs> I think it's like my first unit I pulled in the video so far. It's not seven stars because, yeah, they probably should start implementing more. Well, let me not say that. Let me not say they should implement more hero units and, and, and extreme units. Uh, extremes definitely, but not hero units because no one cares about those. Uh, but I've, 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 I have been playing this game since day one. I'm to the point where all the OG hero units from, from day one, I already got pretty much maxed out. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be crap. This is gonna be absolute crap. So what we get three so far, which means if I would have done a multi, I would have had a three, yeah, a three sparking pull. Which ooh, I'll take the Dodoria. I forgot that the Dodoria and Zarbon are in here. I forgot that the Dodoria and Zarbon are in here. They're like this is the only banner you can get them from actually. So yeah, our right, last one. Can we get one more? One more before we end it and go to the other banner. Come on, let's get one more. One more. One more. One more. Now the only thing that sucks is. Red letters. The only thing that sucks is, is whenever Master Pack 2 comes out over the course or the near future, um, it's gonna be so convoluted with so, so many units, it's gonna be so hard to pull like actual like hype stuff within it. Question I wanna ask you guys, by the way, and also if you enjoyed the video so far, hit the thumbs up. Do you wanna keep running money with guys on that? Uh, whenever Master Pack 2 comes out, from all the UST units that came out over the course of the past uh, couple of, of, of months, let's say for the past year, if they even throw in Legends Risings, which unit do you want the most? That you want to pull the most within Master Pack 2, let me know in the comment section below. I gotta go with Bardock. I would love to get Bardock even higher. I think my Bardock is like either four stars or five stars. I think he's five stars actually. But still, Bardock, like the original Bardock, is just it was such a good unit. Then it kind of like slowed down and he came back again. He literally stayed pretty much in the in the metal realm since day one. In fact, I think actually they released an update on the news section that said top 20 characters, and he's literally number one on it. Uh, which is over. Where is it? I thought I just saw it. Did I just see it? Uh, am I stupid? Am I dumb? New update event? Am I actually dumb? I think I'm dumb. I, I literally saw... Oh, it's literally in front of me, in front of my face. Yeah, look, he's number one. He's still number one on the list because, like I gotta say, he's very, very usable. He's also good support, so it's like a win-win. All right, we're done with the tickets, so now we can hop in, right? Yeah, we can, no, we got one more. We got one more, and then we're gonna hop in and do the, uh, the guaranteed sparking for the... Oh, this is the other guaranteed sparking, isn't it? Oh! I love that! Yo, when you see him popping like, Kagura, I got this! It's just so epic. This is probably one of my favorite animations in the game. I rarely see it, but when you see it, it's dope. And the thing is, is it doesn't even let you pull. Frieza? Frieza? Ah, it's a Krillin. Krillin's good though. Krillin's good though. Krillin absolutely is a slept on beast. And we got him to six stars. Let's see those stats. Let's see those stats. 47,000 strikes, so he's not really a striker, but he's definitely a decent uh, key unit. And his defense is whatever. But again, uh, he, he is uh, one of those units where you can like do a sustained cut. Where if you tag in with him and do a cover change, you take less damage. So that's the, he's basically a defensive unit that's also viable with blasting. So he's definitely good. Alright, let's go ahead and do uh, this so much. Again, if you don't know how to get these tickets, if you go into the menu, mission. I know, I know a lot of you guys who play this are like, we know! You'd be surprised how many people actually uh, miss out on these. Uh, if you go into your dailies, which every day it resets at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, check your time zones, whatever the day resets basically, you'll see these over here, there's always like six missions to do, uh, and when you complete all six, you get a ticket shard. When you get seven, you get to do a guaranteed sparking pull of the most recent banner, and it gives you one of the five units guaranteed, and you can do this twice per USD banner. 
After that, every time you get a ticket again, it's going to just turn into regular, like, uh, free mission summon within that banner. Nothing guaranteed, but just uh, do your dailies, for the love of God. I always tell people, do your dailies. You definitely should do your dailies. Okay. What we got? No letters, but it doesn't matter because this is going to be sparking. I want Bardock the most. I definitely want to get Bardock the next level. With the burst. With the dead Frieza. And is it Bardock? Don't begin you, don't begin you, don't begin you! Bardock! That's what I want to see. That's going to be the next level too, isn't it? Hey, three stars. Surprisingly, I did not go back in trying to get this unit to the next level just because he's like good to go point blank. Like at the beginning, he's good to go. So his Z ability now is 20% attack, Super Saiyan base shock defense during battle. I think at five stars, he gets the ability to do, um, he gets strike and blast defense, I think, right? Strike, attack, and a blast defense. Or is it blast attack? Whatever, he gets another attack buff essentially at five stars. And uh, like I said, two stars, he's good to go. Okay, that's everything. Uh, I mean, I guess I could do, I could do these, but you know what? I think I'll hold on to these because look, the banner goes away for this on the 29th. I think what I'll do is, is I'll, I'll just keep stacking up these tickets, and the day the banner goes away, like on like the 28th or 27th, something like that, I'm just gonna look at epic all ticket summon video again. But for now, let's walk away and end it with all these sparking pulls instead. All right, what a what a video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's Dragon Ball Legends content, make sure you hit that like button below right now. Again, let me know in the comment section below whenever Master Pack 2 comes about what unit do you want the most out of it. Just, uh, let's just assume that everything that we saw in the past will be in this. Uh, with the exception potentially Legends Rising, but we'll see. Let's just pretend everything's inside of what would you want the most and uh, why. And I guess uh, we'll just take it from there. Hope you guys enjoyed today. Thank you for watching. My name is Ryan Style, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.